Okay, it's worth reiterating, most of you already know, I'm using, you know, the Smeal Scene Karaoke app and utilizing their open mics to save my storage. This is where I send it off to my YouTube channel. However, I feel that some of the information I, could, I, I share can be imperative to others. I don't mind sharing here on Sing as well. And, you know, in case you're not a YouTube follower, I want you to get the full benefits. Say, you know, not only my snuggle bug updates, if you sincerely care what's going on with me, but as far as any information that I might share, it might help someone. So that means something to me, whether it does to you or not personally. Okay, with that said, I realize when I share those links, I don't even know that you're able to just copy and paste that. And that can be a challenge, okay? So, if you're interested in anything that I've shared or a link that I've shared, okay, and it might take me time, as long as my inbox here does not get as full as it is on Facebook to where I will not even install Messenger, then I've got no problem with that. Just realize because I know it may seem that I'm self-absorbed at times. Well, shit, I gotta be, guys. It's just me to take care of me and everything regarding my household inside and out as well as my pets is my responsibility not to mention I've got kids which my kids largely help take care of me a lot of times okay um and I'm trying to help others as I go so if it seems I'm self-absorbed you're damn right I've got to be it's me here by myself 24-7 uh, for the most part so I'm doing the best I can for myself, and as I can do for myself, I want to do and help others. You understand? So, um, but you got to be okay to take care of you before you can be okay to take care of anyone else. That is one of the most important lessons I've ever learned. In you are not okay enough to take care of another unless you take care of you. And obviously, I'm not very okay physically, emotionally, and otherwise in life's little traumas and some of my own bad choices, etc. to just take care of me. I, I've got a lot of healing that needs to happen for myself. But as I go, you know, it's part of what my YouTube channel is about. Or even here, guys, it doesn't matter if I, for me it doesn't matter because I don't care about other people's judgments, first off. I don't. That, that, that even regards my own family, which I love. However, this is my journey. You understand? So if you're willing to follow my journey and you think that something is useful to you, I, I'd love to share it with you. And I know that the links I just shared aren't in a fashion that you can just link on. So inbox me if you'd like. Realize it might take me a little time to get to you. Do not, do not inbox me Messenger or inbox me Facebook. I will never receive it. And you just have to know what I do on Facebook to understand that. Even my daughter looked, oh my God, she thought it was only the messages it was reading at the time. She thought 50 something. She said, no wonder, Mom, you don't want Messenger installed. I said, hey, those numbers aren't even accurate. <laughs> I said, you don't understand the full flow of what I receive on the Messenger end. And a lot of it is unbeneficial. For me and for others because people are using Facebook social media as a dating app that is not what I choose to use Facebook for anybody who knows me knows I cross post high kill animal shelters in my spare time I for the most part I try to lead and share positive funny stuff that uplifts others so I'm not looking people to utilize Facebook as a um, dating app. I'm not. I'm not. Um, it's not only that, a huge part since I work so much at advocating for so many different causes, especially the animals. I get many inboxes concerning petitions needing signed or another animal and because I've allowed myself and it's not about a popularity contest Check me out on a social media platform, you will quickly understand, even here. I'm not, that's not what I'm about. I'm not about you following me. You're just as equal as I am, I know better than you, etc., etc. 
what I am about. There are the things I'm passionate about and the things I love in hopes of helping others being compassionate and empathetic towards humanity, towards animals, towards all God's creation. These are the things that mean something to me. I do not do it for self, self-absorbed selfish reasons. Although I might come across self-absorbed, I'm not that at all. Except for the fact I have to be and I spend so much time with myself. No, I'm not. I am highly, truly empathetic. If you do not know me, you might want to get to know me. Although I might come across crazy, I might come across belligerent, I might come across a bitch. These are true facts I will say about myself. I know me better than anybody. But the things you should know about me that come with that, I'm a very loyal, faithful, loving friend. I'm highly pathetic and highly sensitive in nature. And yeah, I'd go crazy for somebody I love that was my friend. I'm that loyal. I'm a loving Scorpio, highly protected by nature, especially my kids. Although I, I too, made mistakes. I, I fell blind for a long way, but I'm not perfect. I'm human. Um, <laughs> what else can I say? If you don't know me, haven't met me already. I did. I got issues. Times with years of being um, sexually abused, physically abused, emotionally abused, and I'm trying to get my healing in order, and I have to do that myself because no doctor and no medication's ever done that for me. And I'm faced with many physical and um, health challenges. Better just my word carefully. I'm trying to, you know, do better on regaining the brain. Again, I'll say, and those legs don't help. Don't. And, um, so I don't really want to label myself as anything. I have obstacles to overcome, just like many of you. But sometimes some of ours are a little bit more seemingly worse than others. Let's just say that. That sounds like a more general way to put it. And uh, I'm doing the best I can to overcome mine. I'm, I'm not always real great at doing it, but I give it my best every day. And that great thing about tomorrow being a new day, guys, every day, the sun sets and the sun rises in the morning, it's a bright new day. It's another day to embrace. You get another chance to do it all over again. Your approach was wrong yesterday. Well, hell, you were just given another chance to make it fresh and start anew. So that's that's the only approach I can give. It doesn't matter what a fool I made of myself yesterday. I don't, I'm not concerned with another's judgment of me. It's wrong, human. We all make mistakes. Just some of us like to hide ours more than others. I'm not afraid to admit my mistakes. Okay, but every. Day, I can start out afresh and I can try again. And try again, I will. So, today's a new day and we're finna start another one. Here in what, 28 minutes? I always count the blessing of a new day. Much love, as always, snuggle up.